Hi, hope you guys are all doing fantastic. We are launching a new batch Neo9 towards NEAT MDS 2023 in the month of April 2022. So you can access our e-classes, test series, study club discussions, assignments, etc. in our courses. Especially those who are planning for one year preparation, this is the right time for you to start. You can find all the details in the description part of this video or you can even access the same from our website ptbdacademy.com. Thirty days before NEET MDS. This is the final phase and the most important phase in your entire preparation for the obvious reasons. So this is the time frame where you need to revise, practice as many multiple choice questions as possible and revise your notes which you have been preparing right from the beginning. At the same time, this is the phase where majority of the aspirants find it difficult to manage and to navigate through not because of so many reasons but because of just one reason and the reason is thinking about the result and that is the reason which contributes to stress anxiety apprehension tension depression and so on and so forth instead if you can change your focus from result towards the process you will unleash the potential in you without any doubt 100 percent so I'll be sharing with you two aspects in this particular video. One is a 24 day cycle and the second one is 30 day cycle. So I've created some pie charts so that I can convey my message even more efficiently. First and foremost, 24 hour cycle. As you can see, it's as simple as that. Majority of your time should go into preparation. This we have been discussing right from the beginning, but it is even more important now. One month before the entrance, all you need to do is focus on your preparation in such a way that you allot maximum time in a given day towards the same. If you are uh, working in a college as an intern or if you're working elsewhere, make sure that uh, you are balancing that work along with your preparation and if possible, take a break from other activities so that you can focus on your preparation. The majority of your time in a given day should go for the same. And those who are homemakers, see if you can delegate your daily activities to other family members and focus on your preparation accordingly. So if you observe this pie chart of 24 hour cycle, all your miscellaneous activities including eating, sleeping, uh, other uh, aspects of your daily life should occupy around 25 to 30 percent of your time maybe six to eight hours but rest of the time should go into preparation quantity plus quality and the second pie chart which i've created is a 30 day cycle so uh, you can do whatever you want to you can practice multiple choice questions you can revise your notes you can take up grantors you can watch videos in quick mode as for your convenience but no matter what you're doing make sure that you're enhancing your confidence as i already mentioned in one of the previous videos most importantly as you can see again in this uh, pie chart the majority of the aspect is going for the so-called disciplined lifestyle this is even more important especially in the final phase of your preparation waking up early in the morning sleeping early, minimizing your smartphone uses, uh, making sure that you're taking diet rich in nutrition and positive thinking. All of this fall under disciplined lifestyle. And waking up early in the morning is even more important now because as you know, the final exam is going to be conducted from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. which means you have to be at the examination center by at least 7 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. as already mentioned in the website. For, for this to happen, you have to wake up very early and then start your daily routine accordingly. So you cannot change your uh, daily cycle just like that on the day of the exam and uh, it's going to be very troublesome to you personally. So get used to waking up early in the morning. Condition yourself in such a way that you are the most active and you're giving your best, especially in the morning phase of your day. That is starting from 5 a.m till 12 p.m. or 12.30 p.m. For this to happen, so you have to sleep early. And for that to happen, you have to minimize your smartphone uses and even turn off your mobile or keep it in silent mode one to two hours before you sleep. 
so consider these inputs very very important and this is the final phase of your preparation you have been working hard you have been working consistently and it is now the time for you to believe in yourself and most importantly you're never going to get this phase again so enjoy it to the best of your ability and keep giving your best wish you all the best love you all